Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and I'm so excited to welcome you to the first workout of the Strong and Lean program. So the Strong and Lean program is going to be running on my channel Live Well with Nicola. It's going to be running for six weeks. There's going to be six workouts per week, five um, kind of actual workouts and then one um, recovery stretch mobility session to really calm ourselves down after all those intense workouts. So as the title of the program suggests, Strong and Lean, it's really going to be focused on building strength and building that lean muscle mass through a combination of dumbbells, kettlebells and kind of bodyweight calisthenics moves. We're really going to be challenging ourselves so using the heavier dumbbells going at a slower tempo or um, choosing the more challenging variation of those bodyweight movements because we really want to challenge our strength and get that stimulus for muscle hypertrophy and muscle growth. So I really hope you stick along through me with this six week strong and lean program. Of course you can also cherry pick the workouts if that's what you prefer. Just pick the ones that you're most interested in. Um, there is going to be a huge variety of different workout strength cardio hit mobility all sorts of things but there will be a bias towards strength the program that i'll do after this will have more of a bias towards cardio and hit and fat loss so yeah definitely check it out that's enough about the program for now we're going to be doing our 30 minute back and biceps workout so really focusing on that upper body but working those pulling movements so those rows those curls it's definitely going to get spicy um, we're going to be doing a series of 10 exercises 30 seconds work 20 seconds rest for three rounds with an extra one minute rest in between each round doing a variety of like i said rowing, pulling, curling motions. At the end, we will have a little finisher and it's just gonna be five isometric holds, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest to really make sure that our muscles are sufficiently worked and there's nothing left and to get, like I said, that stimulus for building strength and muscle mass, even with the limited equipment we might have at home. So all you'll need for this workout is a pair of weights. Ideally have two weights and ideally have um, a pair a heavier pair of weights and a lighter pair of weights that you can switch between. So for example, I'm gonna be using two 10 kilo weights for most of the rowing movements, but I will be using two, I think they're around five, six kg weights um, dumbbells for the kind of curls and the movements that it's a bit more difficult to kind of lift heavier on. So yeah, I really hope that makes sense. Of course, I'll be guiding the workout with you for the whole way. There'll be a warm up and a cool down. And without further delay, I'm gonna press the timer and let's get started. So first of all, we're going into that warm up. We're just going to be doing some arm circles. So one forward and one back. Really warming up that upper body, getting in a little bit of mobility too. Really brushing your biceps past your ears, getting that nice stretch in the arms. Perfect, now we're gonna go down to the floor and we're gonna go into some Superman. So belly on the floor and we're lifting our arms up, looking down at the ground, warming up that back and the core. You can have your thumbs pointing upwards to really activate those small, back muscles as well as the large ones. Perfect, and now we're gonna go onto all fours and we're gonna go into some cat and cows. So pushing, bring your head up, push your stomach down and then curling up, bringing your chin to your chest and just moving in between these two movements. Really exaggerating it so that you feel that nice stretch and mobility in your back. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab one of the dumbbells that we're going to be using for the workout and we're going to have it in the middle here. We're gonna hinge over and we're just gonna go into a bent over row. Just warming up that movement because we're gonna be doing a lot of these during the workout.
Really think of sucking your belly button in towards your spine to maintain that nice straight back. Perfect, all right. We've got 20 seconds now just to get ready for that workout. So make sure that you have your pair of heavy dumbbells, your pair of light dumbbells ready to go because we're going to be switching between the two. And the first move we're going to be doing is we're going to be hinging over. We're going to be taking a narrow grip with our palms facing towards each other and we're going to be rowing them up. All right, let's go. So grab those dumbbells, hinge back and we're rowing them up. So our hands and elbows are close in to our body in that narrow grip and our palms are facing each other in a neutral grip. All right, and 20 seconds rest. Next, if you do have a pair of lighter dumbbells to switch to, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna be going into some wide grip bicep curls. All right, so grab those dumbbells, elbows close into our body, but hands slightly further out. And we're slowly curling up and down. Remembering to keep your glutes squeezed, look forward, abs engaged. Elbows close to the body, but hands slightly further out into that wide grip. All right, and rest. Okay, next, if you're switching weights with me, we're gonna go ahead and pick up that heavier pair and we're gonna go into a supine grip, so palms facing away from us and back into that bent over row. Same move, different grip. All right, let's go. So, hinging back, palms facing away from us and we're rowing those dumbbells up. and rest. Whew. All right, I know it's getting spicy, but keep going. Next, lighter weights again, and we're gonna go into that hammer curl. So palms are facing towards each other, and we're curling up like this. All right, so palms facing towards each other, and we're doing that curling motion. Again, keeping everything squeezed tight. Really working those biceps here. And rest. All right, so we're gonna pick up the heavier ones again and we're gonna go into a wide bent over row. So we're gonna have a wider grip, palms facing towards each other and we're gonna be rowing it up. All right, let's go. Grabbing those heavier weights, wide grip, palms facing in, and we're rowing up. And rest. All right, so now we're going down to the floor. We're gonna have our back on the floor. We're gonna have one dumbbell, arms slightly bent, elbows bent, and we're gonna be pulling it over. So we'll get started in just a couple seconds. All right, so grabbing that dumbbell, slight bend in your arms, and we're pulling it over our head just above the floor and then bring it up.
I'm using my heavier dumbbell here, but just one. And rest. All right. So last move with the weights here for this round. We're gonna be having the dumbbells on the ground. We're gonna be in a plank position and we're just gonna be rowing them up, alternating arms. I'm using my heavier ones, but if you wanna use your lighter ones, then feel free. This is one is a challenging movement for the core as well. And rest, all right. So put the dumbbells to the side for now because we're gonna go into those supermans again like we did in the warm up for 30 seconds. Whew. All right, so squeezing our shoulder blades and our arms, pointing our thumbs up to the sky, head looks down and we're using our back muscles to really raise our arms off the ground. Keeping your belly flat against the ground, core squeezed, glutes squeezed, and rest. All right, so next we're gonna be in that Superman position, but we're gonna be bringing our hands down as if we're doing a lap pull down. So really squeezing our elbows together. All right, let's go. So Superman and then into that lap pull down. So staying in that raised Superman position and bringing our elbows close together, squeezing them tight. You should really feel this firing up your back. Keep your core squeezed, your glutes squeezed, and keep looking down. Perfect, and rest. All right, the last move of this circuit, we're gonna be going into a supine push-up to really work the upper back. So our elbows are gonna be out, kind of horizontally. We're gonna be squeezing up to bring our shoulders off the ground. So let's go. Squeeze up, bring your shoulders off the ground and back down. So really digging your elbows into the ground to bring your shoulders and upper back off the floor. Holding a couple seconds at the top each time. Perfect, all right. We've got a one minute rest now, and then we're gonna do another round of those 10 exercises. So shake out your arms, grab some water. My water's there. All right, so now that you're a bit more familiarized with all of these movements, the next round, I want you to really think of doing slow and controlled reps. So a couple seconds on the way up, a couple seconds on the way down, squeezing a little bit, pausing a little bit in that hardest position so that we can really stimulate our muscles to build strength and get that lean defined look. So yeah, it's gonna be harder the second time round, but you've got this. I'm gonna be doing it the whole way through with you. Remember, 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. And then we move to the next exercise. All right, so first of all, we're grabbing those dumbbells and we're going into that narrow neutral grip bent over row. So slow on the way up, pause, slow on the way down. Palms are facing towards each other and hands and elbows are close in to the body. Nobody's like you. You are not 
and rest. All right. Next, we're going to go into that wide grip bicep curl. Remembering, if you want, change to the lighter weights because for me, the tens would be too heavy for the bicep curls. If you only have one pair of weights, that's fine. Work with what you have. All right, let's go. So elbows in the body, wide hands, slowly up and down. Keep breathing. And rest, all right. So, switching back to those heavier weights and we're gonna go into a supine grip, so palms facing away from us, elbows and hands in, bend over row. Again, slow on the way up, slow on the way down. All right, let's go. So, hinging over, core straight, back straight, and we're rowing them up. And rest, all right. Whew. Next, we're gonna go into the hammer curls. So palms facing each other, hands and elbows in, hammer curl. Remember, slow tempo. I know it's starting to burn now, but just a couple more exercises and then we're going down to the floor. All right, so pick up the lighter dumbbells and we're going into that slow and controlled hammer curl. And rest. I was considering doing one more rep there, but I chickened out of it. it happens sometimes, it's all right. Okay, last one of the bent over rows here standing up. We're gonna be having our hands as wide as possible, palms facing towards us, and we're gonna be rowing them up. All right, let's go. So, hinging over, hands a bit wider, and we're rowing them up. All right, I think you can tell it's getting spicy for me. So thankfully we're going down to the floor now. We're gonna grab that singular dumbbell and we're going into that pull over. Remember, slight bend in the arms here at the elbows to make sure we're working our back and not our chest. All right, let's go. So bring that dumbbell up, slight bend in the arms and we're pulling it over. Perfect, and rest. Okay, we've got those renegade rows now. So in that plank position, rowing them up. I'm using my heavier weights, but it is a bit of a harder movement. So if you need to scale down to your lighter pair, then do so. All right, let's go. So in that plank position, and we're rowing up the alternating arm.
perfect. All right, set the dumbbells to the side because we're going into those last three body weight moves. We're going to be doing Superman's first. Oh, it's definitely getting challenging now. All right, belly on the ground, thumbs pointing up, and we're lifting up our arms. and rest oh, all right stretch it out a little bit in that cobra position if you need two more exercises and then we've got that one minute rest so we're going into that superman lat pull down now so really squeezing the elbows together at the back all right let's go so belly to the floor in that superman position and we're squeezing the elbows together keeping our arms raised off the ground at all times to keep that tension there. All right, one more exercise left. Into those supine press-ups in about 10 seconds now. So remember, Elbows out at 90 degrees, and we're just squeezing, digging our elbows into the ground to get that upper back and shoulders off the ground. Let's go. So, upper back and shoulders off, hold for a couple seconds and back down. All right, I'm so proud of you guys. Two rounds done. One minute rest now, and then just one round. And then just the finisher, the holds, which will literally take one or two minutes. So you're over halfway through the workout. Amazing work. Grab some water and get ready for that third round. I know it's burning now, but just try and move through it as best you can. Even if you need to take an extra break, Split up the rounds in two mini sets, that's fine. Just keep moving. I'm always paranoid. I have to check the camera still filming in these rest breaks. All right, so first exercise, we're gonna go into that narrow neutral grip. So palms facing each other, bent over row. Let's grab the dumbbells, try and go for the heavier ones, but of course you can also scale back to the lighter ones and we're rowing up. And rest, all right. Okay, lighter dumbbells, wide grip bicep curls. You should know the drill by now. So grab those dumbbells and we're curling up. Remember, elbows close into the body, but hands the further away. And rest. <laughs> My arms are getting fried. All right. That's what we want though, especially in this last round. 
Okay, next up, back into that bent over row. This time, supine grip, so palms facing away from us. Let's go. So, hinging back, palms facing away, and we're rowing them up slowly. And rest. All right. <laughs> Next up, we've got those hammer curls. I'm just gonna grab a drink of water quickly. All right. Into those hammer curls. Let's go. So, palms facing in towards each other. We're curling up. Elbows stay tucked into the body and keep breathing. <laughs> Perfect, and rest. All right, we've got one more move here. Standing up, it's gonna be those wide bent over rows. So, I'm gonna stick with the lighter ones for this round, just cause last round, I felt that my form was going a little bit on that move. So grab whatever weight you want, hinging back, arms wide, and we're rowing them up. So, if you have a lighter weight, that's fine. We're just gonna go for more reps. Still maintaining that slow and controlled pace, however. And rest, all right. So, down to the floor now. I'm changing back to that heavier weight. One dumbbell, pulling it over. Remember, that bend in the arms. All right, so, bring that dumbbell up, and we're pulling it over, keeping our back pressed flat against the ground as we pull it back over our heads down to the floor. And rest. All right, one more move here with these dumbbells. Just those renegade rows. You've got this, everyone. All right, so in that plank position and we're rowing them up. And rest, okay. Put the dumbbells to the side. And we've got that body weight, those last few body weight moves now. All right, belly on the floor. We're going into those supermans. And rest. Ooh. Stretch it out if you need. Into that cobra. 
and we've got those Superman lap pull downs now. Keep going everyone. Two more exercises left of this circuit here. All right, let's go. So Superman up and then in that almost breaststroke motion or lap pull down. However you prefer to think about it. And rest. All right, just those supine push-ups left. Elbows on the floor, squeezing up, lifting our shoulders. And then we've just got that finisher. All right, let's go. So we're gonna have our elbows on the ground, squeezing up, shoulders and upper back off the ground and back down. Really working the upper back and a little bit of that core here as well. Amazing work everyone. You finished the bulk of this workout. We've got a 30 second rest and then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do five isometric holds as finishes, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna be using my light weights throughout. There's gonna be two weighted moves and then three body weight moves. Firstly, we're gonna go into that narrow grip brent of a row. We're gonna bring them up and we're just gonna be holding here for 20 seconds. I'd recommend going with the lighter pair of dumbbells. All right, so we're bending over and rowing up, holding it here in that upwards position. All right, and rest. Wasn't as bad as I thought. I could have even gone with the heavier weights, I think. But next, we're gonna go into that wide grip, bicep cut hold. So in that wide grip, elbows in, hands out. We're going up halfway and we're holding here in that halfway bicep curl. Last time we're using dumbbells here right now. So keep pushing. Perfect, and drop the dumbbells. We don't need those anymore. Next, we're gonna go down to the floor and we're just gonna hold the Superman for 20 seconds. Let's go. So belly on the floor, hands up, and we're holding. Keep breathing. And rest. All right, next, still in that Superman position, but we're gonna go into that lat pull down hold. All right, let's go. So, Superman up, squeezing the elbows together, holding here. Perfect, and now flipping over, we're just gonna go into that supine push-up. We're gonna push up, elbows into the floor, so elbows dig into the floor, pushing up, shoulders up a bit off the floor, and we're holding right here. Last one, okay. Keep pushing right now. Last few seconds. Perfect, that's it. Your 30 minute, well I think it was 32 minute, back and biceps workout is over. I'm so proud of you. I hope you got a good workout in. Let's just grab some water, wipe off our sweat. And in a few seconds, I'll take you through that cool down. Ooh, all right. So we're gonna head down to the floor. We're gonna go into that cobra position. So hands, walk them out, butt sinks back down to heels 
and we're just going to take a few deep breaths here. Really walk out your hands as far as they can go. Perfect. Now we're going to take our hands, walk them over to one direction, really getting a nice stretch in the side of that lap. And the other direction. Perfect. Now we're going to have our hands on the ground, fingers pointing towards our bodies, and we're just going to take, sink our bum back down to our heels, trying to keep our hands on the ground as we sink our bum and body back, really feeling a nice stretch in those forearms. Come out of it for a few seconds and then get back into it. All right, and flip your hands over so that your palms are facing upwards now, but we're doing the exact same motion, trying to keep our hands on the ground, feeling a nice stretch in the other side of those forearms. And then we're just gonna take a few wrist circles to try to interlace our hands and our elbows one way and then the other way. Perfect, all right. Last one here, we're just gonna go Take one hand over behind our head and stretch it down. And the other way. Perfect, and now we're just gonna do a few crosses with our arms. So one arm above, one arm below. Just loosening up the joints after all of that work we did. And finally, we're just going to take a, a slightly wide stance, wider than shoulder width, and we're going to lean to one side, really stretching out those obliques. And switch sides. Switching sides again. And once more. All right, perfect. That's your cool down complete, your workout complete. I really hope you enjoyed the first workout of the Strong and Lean program. If this is your first time checking out my channel, then definitely um, subscribe for the rest of the program. There's going to be lots more workouts like this. Like the video if you enjoyed the workout, comment with what you liked or anything you want to see differently, anything you want to see improved, any video ideas you might have because I'm always looking for suggestions. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for training with me and hopefully see you soon. Bye.